Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Amez here, and today I wanted to compare the best helicopter and the best plane in Roblox War Tycoon and see which one is better. Let's get into it. So representing the planes, we have the F-14 Tomcat, and representing the helicopters, we have the Mi-24 Hind. So for first comparison, we have the Arsenal, and the F-14 Tomcat has a 20mm autocannon and four lock-on missiles. The Mi-24 has 24 barrage rockets, three explosive machine guns, and four lock-on missiles. For Arsenal, I think the Mi-24 gets the easy point here. Now moving on to speed. So the Mi-24 has a top speed of around 190. And now moving on to the F-14 speed. And this thing comes in at an astonishing 311 speed, making it the fastest vehicle in the game right now. So for speed, I'm giving it to the F-14 Tomcat. Next up, we have maneuverability. While the Mi-24's maneuverability isn't exactly the best in terms of all the helicopters, it still has pretty decent turning speed. Next up for the F-14's maneuverability. This thing has some pretty good maneuverability actually. I know a lot of people are really struggling to use it, but if you turn down the power whenever you turn, it makes it super nice and fast to turn. So for that reason, I'm gonna give the point to the F-14. Next up, we have grief ability. And what I mean by grief ability is how easy it is to grief a base with this vehicle. So the Mi-24 is definitely one of the best vehicles to grief with. I find it is so easy to break shields, oil extractors, CRAM, anything. It just destroys it so fast. But for the F-14, I think it's definitely a different story. F-14 is very good for countering other vehicles in the sky. But when it comes to griefing other bases, I feel like it lacks behind that because it is very touchy when you try to dive bomb and often you will not be able to pull up in time and you'll just crash into the ground. So the point here is going to go to the Mi-24. Next up, we have accessibility. And what I mean by accessibility is how easy it is to obtain each vehicle. So first up, we have the Mi-24. Now the Mi-24 is a Game Pass vehicle, so that means it costs Robux. It comes in at approximately 999 Robux at the moment, making it behind a paywall. Now, for the F-14 Tomcat, it's a different story. It is a operation vehicle, so you can get it for free if you finish the operation. All you have to do is destroy 60 enemy planes, and with the update being so fresh, there is a lot of planes out right now, so it is really easy to get the 60 enemy planes done. And although the jets require one more rebirth than the helicopters, I think my decision would still be the same because at the end of the day, the Mi-24 does cost Robux, and a lot of people don't really want to spend Robux on this game. So for accessibility, I'm giving it to the F-14 Tomcat. Now, the final question here is, which one would I take in a 1v1? Now, after careful consideration, I chose the F-14 Tomcat. And the reason for this is I was going up against people in the F-14 with my Mi-24, and I realized that it is almost impossible to lock on when the jets are flying away. I found that I was only able to get like one missile connecting, and my machine guns just weren't getting to the jet and he killed me pretty easily. And I'm also currently undefeated in the F-14 against any other helicopter. So for that reason, I'm gonna be picking the F-14. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you will perform better or worse with the F-14 Tomcat. It really just depends on your play style. And yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. See you guys next time. Peace.